long time no see survivors, it's me, Kane, and I'm here to tell you all about base building and DayZ. The first thing I want to go over, is base building right for you? It takes hours to build a base and only minutes to raid it. Are you alright with that? Do you mind pouring your heart into something only to have someone else ruin it? If so, keep watching and I'll tell you how to get all set up. Disclaimer, this is recorded on a DayZ expansion server. The base I'm showing off can only be built with vanilla and expansion elements. I won't be covering Daisy expansion building in this video. Just vanilla base building. The first step is going to be getting your supplies. The supplies you need are listed here on the screen. Feel free to pause it and check them out. Due to the large amount of space all the supplies take up, I recommend trying to secure a working car or a few willing friends before you start on your base building journey. The first few things you'll need to gather are easy to find. Short sticks can be gathered by chopping down various small bushes you'll find around Chinaris. If you do get a long stick, that can be split into the small sticks you need by combining a blade like a knife or an axe with it. Short sticks will stack up to five in your inventory and are pretty easy to carry. Next up is finding a rope. While they do spawn naturally in industrial areas, it's easiest to just make one. Find some clothing on the ground and chop them up until you have 12 rags or two full stacks. Next, you're gonna combine those two full stacks to create an improvised rope. While there exist other ways to craft rope, such as cutting up guts with a knife, I find that the crafting method involving rags is the easiest because of the availability of clothing on the ground. Now that we have the sticks and the rope, we can craft placeable kits for our fences, watchtowers, flagpoles, and shelters. Crafting these is simple. Just take some sticks and rope and combine them in your hands. You'll have the option to craft any of these, switchable by left-clicking once. If you don't see the option to craft what you want, try stacking more sticks before you combine them. These kits will be reusable, so you're only going to need a few of them anyway. Once you've crafted either a fence kit, a watchtower kit, a shelter kit, or a flagpole kit, you're going to take it to your hands, and we're going to go place it somewhere. You can keep them until you're ready to build, but once you place them, they're foldable. You can pick them back up and use them again. Press and hold left click and you'll start placing it down. Once it's been placed, you're good to start building. The keystone of almost every single structure is wooden logs. It's stupid simple to get. You get yourself an axe, you find a tree, you chop it down. That's how you get logs. It's how you get logs in the real world. It's how you get logs in DayZ. They do suck to carry though, so I'm going to heavily recommend getting a car um, or maybe like a 20 person fire team to cover you while you move these because as you can see here, you barely move at all while you're walking with these in your hands. Um, putting them in the back of a vehicle makes this so much easier. You can transport so much lumber back to your base and start building. Speaking of lumber, it's time to get into our planks. Now, planks are gatherable in a lot of different ways. Um, one of the least common and fastest ways to get planks is to take a saw and find a pile of planks somewhere along Chinaris. They're marked on many maps, and using the saw, you're going to be able to chop three at a time very rapidly. You're going to be able to pile these up under your feet using either type of saw, either a hand saw or a hack saw. They're both going to work the same sort of way. Planks are going to stack up to 10 in your inventory, but up to 20 when you're building. If you're unable to find a pile of lumber, you can always just chop down a tree and take the log and combine it with a saw, both types of saws once again, and you'll be able to craft planks on the spot. Do be careful though that you don't accidentally cut the logs into firewood instead of planks. So. Now we've gotten all of our wood, we've gotten a kit to make things, so we're ready to build, right? Uh, no. If I bring your attention back to our list, we have gotten a lot of natural components, but everything else that remains is man-made tools. While we're not going to be able to do that and make them ourselves, we are going to be able to go out and find everything listed. You're going to have to search through industrial spawns, which means lots of these little shacks everywhere, or perhaps you get lucky and you run into a three storage unit building. Or, hear me out, you could follow my advice and go just north of Chernogorsk. Dubovo, a small apartment complex area, is going to have a ton 
ton of storage units down here on the south. The south side is going to have about 36, 40 opportunities for you to pop open doors and run through and loot. Now, it is still going to take you time, and you're going to have to find everything listed there if you want to make a cohesive base. You're not going to magically open a door and find everything, everything you're going to need in one. You might. Or you could potentially bust down the door of some duper's base and, oh, he's got all the nails on the world. It's going to take a lot of time to find these things, especially your nails. You're never going to see this situation. All right. You've taken a couple hours, you've looted everything, you've got all your supplies, all the supplies I've listed earlier in the video. Now to make a base to keep the fresh bonds out. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on where to put your base, but Jackokov has three fantastic videos showing some really good locations. I recommend going to check that out, link in the description. Now we're placing our kits. Take the first kit you want to place, I'm going to use a fence kit here, and put it down wherever. Second, add some logs to it, the wooden logs, two of them, and use a shovel to put those into the ground. This is the foundations for your base. Using the shovel on that can remove the foundations if you do ever need to dismantle it. Now we're going to take our planks, our nails, and attach those to our fence. This is going to allow us to build the different segments, the lower wall, the upper wall, or a platform on this. If you're just building a wall or a gate, you're probably not going to want the platform, so just make the lower and upper walls. Choose what you want to build by left-clicking when looking at the fence, and it'll give you options to build these. Here we build four, the bases, and then uh, put the sheeting on them, and we make ourselves a wooden wall. Now, what if we want to make that into a gate? You're going to want to grab that metal wire and the pliers from earlier, attach the metal wire to the fence, and then use the pliers on it. This allows you to make a gate. The gates are going to be the entries and exits of your base, hopefully the only ones, and that allows you to control the flow of people if you do have friendlies coming in and out, or just keep the bad guys away from your stuff. That is, if you have a lock. These gates are useless without one. Go out and grab the strongest one you can, ideally the four combination. Set yourself a combination in the bottom left by toggling it a few times, and attach that to your gate. This is going to lock it up and secure it from anybody trying to get through. Now it can be blown up and it can be cut through and it can be brute forced, so it's not always going to keep everyone out. The more gates you have, the better. By solving the combination on the gate, it's going to drop to the ground in the same configuration as when you unlocked it. So if your code is 1212, once you enter 1212, it pops off and you'll see it on the ground 1212. The same method is going to be used when you're building watchtowers. It's just going to be a much larger area you have to cover and more things you have to build. It's the exact same style as building the fence with the upper and lowers and their coverings. However, you sometimes have to pixel hunt to find out exactly where you need to click to build. It can be a pain to build a watchtower, but I do recommend building at least one in your base because of the visibility and the security they can provide. Some people even go so far as to use watchtowers as their only sources of walls, which does provide a much more secure environment, but you do need to build three floors tall for every single wall. Here, you're actually going to notice me throw away one of my hammers because they ruin so quickly. This is why I have at least five, six on me when I'm building a base of this size. Last but not least is our newest addition in 1.10, the shelter. Now, start with your shelter kit, find a good place to put it down, and remember where you put it. You're most likely hiding this somewhere in the woods, so it's easy to lose. Now start to get your sticks. You're going to need short and long sticks, and a lot of them. Once you've cut four long sticks and 50, yes, 50 short sticks, you'll be able to assemble the shelter. You don't need any tools, just get your hands out, step back, and boom, it's up in a second. This is going to be great for storing items, just quick dump, less so for long-term storage. It's more of a concealment object, in fact, that you might want to use in a firefight. It's not going to stop bullets, but as you can see here, despite his bright contrasting clothing, Null is not visible when he's behind it. Good concealment, good cover, but it doesn't save his life.
Well, that about covers everything with the fence, gate, watchtower kit, and the improvised shelter. Didn't touch on the flagpole, didn't think I needed to. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Cracker. Uh, his channel is going to be linked in the description below. He's just started making YouTube videos, but he helped me set a bunch of this base up and do a bunch of the group shots. Also, shout out to Null. Sorry I had to shoot you in the face. Um, but feel free to stop by my Discord channel. I'm going to have the link in the description and it's up on the screen here. Feel free to leave a comment, like, subscribe. I'll have more stuff coming to you. Thank you for watching, everybody. Keep on surviving, survivors, and I'll see you on the next one.